We're gonna make some super black bean burgers. They're super delicious, super nutritious, and they're super easy to make. So we're gonna use our food processor to blend our ingredients in batches, three batches. We've got our vegetables, our nuts and seeds and spices, and our black beans. They're gonna all come together with different textures in each blend to make such an amazingly flavorful and like perfectly textured black bean burger. We did the onions and the peppers first because I like them to have a nice sort of crunchy texture. You can basically blend them as big or as little as you like. I like mine sort of medium size. Not like a puree and not like big fat chunks either. So that's our nut and seed and spice blend. It smells amazing. So you're just gonna spoon that right on top of your vegetables. And you know, Brazil nuts, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, they're all a fabulous source of protein and fiber and lots of different minerals and vitamins as well and did I mention they taste really great as well? I like these things a lot. And that's our last part that we need the food processor for. Our black beans and cilantro. Now black beans and cilantro of course are very healthy. Black beans full of fiber, full of protein. Also, really great source of antioxidants. That, that black color uh, basically comes from an antioxidant called anthocyanin. Wait, anthocyanin, that's what it is. And it's very good for you, so you should eat your black beans. I'm just gonna combine this, give it a nice stir. So I just stir in my quick cooking oats. Again, making sure everything is nice and combined. Those quick cooking oats help to hold the burger together. So, say for instance you blend your onions and peppers a little bit longer and there's more liquid that comes out of them. If you think your burger is too liquidy and it's hard to hold together, just add a little bit more oats. That's, that's all you need to do. All right, now before we shape it into little burgers, I'm just gonna give it a taste. Mmm, perfectly seasoned. Mm -mm -mm. Now the key to making a perfect little veggie black bean burger is forming it into a really nice and tight patty. So you're gonna scoop a bit into the palm of your hand and just shape it. I always make it into like a, a ball first and then flatten it down. I find that that works the best. Aluminum foil doesn't work as well because things tend to stick to it. So always use parchment for these, okay? So I'm actually gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Alternatively, you could grill them. If you're gonna grill them, grill them on each side for about 10 minutes. look perfect. I'm just going to give them a few minutes to cool off and in the meantime I have been setting up my burger toppings. So we're going to serve it with some avocado and some arugula. I got some cucumbers here for a little bit more of that coolness. So this is going to be an open face sandwich. So I got my bread. If you're gluten-free, of course, you could just skip the bread, or you could use a gluten-free bread that is also vegan, or you could use a collard green, or a romaine lettuce leaf, or the options go on and on and on. Um, I'm going to put the avocado down first, and then the burger on top. I think this one, this one's calling my name. Just like that. In order to make the arugula stay in place, I just kind of massage it, you know, and place that on top, and then a couple cucumbers, or maybe just one, and that's your little burger. I think it looks pretty nice. It's like this cucumber on top is my other slice of bread. Okay, do you mind if I take a bite? 
I think I must. Mmm. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> I cannot stress you enough how delicious this is. I think you should go and make it. And after you've made them, take a picture and share it on social media and let me know what you think. See you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>